everybody, Papa Gord here, and you probably saw the armor re re armorer review. If you didn't, uh, there 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 will be a link up here somewhere. Which go ahead and click that, and then come back and watch this. But if you watch the armorer review, man, that's a mouthful. At the beginning, I showed off two packages, and one was the armorer which is awesome, absolutely awesome. Uh, definitely a two thumbs up figure. And the other one was Cad Bane. So as soon as I finished the armor, I was like, you know what? This figure put me in a really good mood. Um, I know I'm a little sour on figures uh, <laughs> quite often. So I was like, eh, let's, um, let's, let's just get the second one done. And then that way I can sit around and kind of look at both figures a little closer. So I already kind of, I already know I it was hard not to, uh, to watch people's review of him. Um, deluxe or otherwise, just the regular. There we go. Get him out of that box. So I already kind of was like, yeah, I'm already going to dig him period um oops that's gonna go there we go okay all right so yeah so i figured what the hell let's just uh let's just get him out and done and uh yeah because then that way i can enjoy him a lot more so anyways this is mr bane mr cad bane and he looks he looks awesome. Um, not gonna lie at all. He's he's great. I love the the little scowl, so to speak, he's got going on between his mouth and even like it almost looks like he's kind of like one eyebrow up a little bit more than the other. That could just be me. Got some wrinkles going on in his forehead, like lots and lots of details. Hasbro does aliens and helmeted people very, very well. The human uh, face is definitely improving uh, for them. I will def I will say that for sure. But aliens and, and, and helmets, um, right up their alley. So at least now that the, they got the, the Stormtrooper um, one better. But yeah, he's just, there's, I'm gonna get lost honestly looking at him because there's a lot going on um i wish there was a little bit of paint there but uh you know you start up at the top the the kind of tarnished silver accents on the on his uh, the upper part of his, his 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 like trench coat type of thing his riding coat his Western, um, again, that's all he is. He's just he's just a kick-ass looking blue-skinned cowboy. So, uh, just fantastic. Uh, the, the pattern that's on the upper part of his like vest, I guess, or something, to the, the silver buttons, and then you get his munitions belt wrapped around him twice. Um, you know, he's got a couple of different size rounds, it looks like. Would have kind of been nice had they finished doing the silver on the top. So the bottom one has is these are all, but you get in a little bit. Like you still can, you know, open the coat up a little bit. So a couple more swipes of the silver paint might have been might have been a little nicer. And same thing. He's got the accents down here at the bottom that are up here back of the coat again it flows like i think he had to go with the that soft plasticky rubber material i don't think it would have come off as nice looking if it would have been soft goods that's my that's my fear with the the endor han uh which i should have in this week so it's just that that, that material it's if it's the same as what endor luke has I, I'm gonna be a little disappointed with it, but uh, but yeah. So this is awesome. 
again, you know, a detail, just complete cowboy, absolute. So, you know, the whole the holsters, you know, they could have maybe hit that with a little bit of silver just to break it up from the from the brown because I think this this is subtle enough, but it it works really well. So yeah, so that's awesome. You know, nothing real special with the pants. They're just his pants or whatever, but has his little uh, rockets right there. So, there you go. There, nice. So those are okay. I, I'm, I'm quite fine with that. I almost kind of wish as well, I kind of wish he kind of had black boots. Because that bluish gray or whatever color it is, it, it just, it's all, yeah. Is that the same? I don't know. I do have, might as well get them down. As I guess that's the nice thing of actually having the two. No, no. So that would, that would have been kind of nice. So it's the, it's the same. I did notice that uh, that the rockets are pointed though with are pointed down on that one, and out of the box for him, and they're 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 pointed up. So I. Just <laughs> something weird I noticed. But, uh, yeah. I mean, that's okay. And then, you know, it does look like they're kind of chaps with the way that they cut the uh, the upper thigh swivel, which I think that's pretty sneaky. I like that. Again, it's got the, the single-jointed knee, but, I mean, compared to the armorer, that's, like, that's really, really good. I, you know, I quite, I quite like that. I'm really... Really enjoying the uh, the articulation that they're getting with some of them now. So especially the single jointed knee. So a butterfly joint. Uh, you know that's great. Oh, I never did check the armor. Let's see. Now, yeah, he gets he pretty well gets about ninety, but he's got a lot of stuff going on here. He's got some some cables that run up up into his sleeve. And just his lower gauntlets with his, his little buttons. And probably looks like he's got a little, you know, <laughs> spider shooter. No, uh, you know, could uh, be backup weapons or whatever. So love the, the, the fingerless glove look. is rad on him as well. And, you know, you got his tubes. And I totally forgot that he had uh, his little... Uh, man bag his his man purse so again that could have hit that with a little bit of color or something like that on there would have been pretty rad but I, again not a deal breaker not to have them uh so he's got his uh he's got two of these his blasters which i think look really rad you have brown on the handle uh some black up here on the barrel so yeah and they're pretty like pretty solid, um, so which is really, really rad. And then, of course, the, his most famous of accessories would be his uh, would be his hat. And this is just, I love this. He looks good without it. He looks awesome with it. Again, it's it's like I said with the armor, tilting the head certain ways to um, come off and emote emotions with figure that doesn't have a face um, works really well for her same can be said about an accessory like uh, like a big friggin cowboy hat space cowboy hat like that and I just ah uh, like it's it's fantastic it's <laughs> it's it's making me weep for trying to figure out or when the time comes to have to do uh, favorite figures of 2020 because Hasbro is really bringing their A game on a lot of these guys uh, lately, and uh, I really appreciate it. Again, I still wish for maybe uh, a few more accessories 
for the figures, extra hands. Now that we get the uh, the flame trooper, um, the sorry the incinerator trooper with that big incinerator flame. Um, I know you need probably need that accessory to go with that figure, but uh, oh, that just goes right in, nice and easy. So that's awesome. Oh, and it looked like six shooters in a whole bit. So that's that's fantastic. So two for two in a row, like. For the two figures I got in at the same time, uh, I don't think I could pick one over the other. Maybe, maybe Cad. Uh, I don't know. No, I don't know. Maybe I. I can't make that decision. But maybe Cad Bane over the armor just a smidge, and I would. I would say just because of. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. I'll just say by accessories. Because he's got two guns, his man bag, and his hat. So he's got four. She's got her, her fur piece, her hammer, and her uh, and her clamps. So that's that's how we'll edge him out. But he's awesome. It's going to make me want to take Toto out of that deluxe pack even more. But I'm going to have to resist. I'm glad he came when he did. Because I was very close to opening up that the, the uh, deluxe edition so that is him another solid solid figure Ugh. again black boots or even brown boots would have just made this just a smidge but that's uh that's okay i'm okay. i'm still okay with them so anyways guys comment share like subscribe all that usual youtube mumbo jumbo put on your notifications for whenever i upload uh, which hopefully it'll be a little bit more regularly and uh, when I live stream um, and we'll go from there 800 subscribers like I showed before this guy and then uh, at a thousand we'll do the backpack with all the uh, figures in that and we'll see where that goes Instagram Twitter you'll see they come out through various parts of the video so anyways guys we'll talk to you again real soon Later, right?